All right, <laughs> good evening guys. Chris here from Ear to Ear Magic, coming to you live for a last minute crazy why not live stream as we are just now returning to Gideon's Bakehouse um, for our return time. We were in line this morning at right about 9.15. Uh, it took us 45 minutes to get through uh, to get into the virtual queue. Um, and at that point, uh, we were given a time frame of about, I think it was five hours for return. Uh, we didn't get our return text until eight hours later. Uh, so we're back in the space now. Hey, hello, Andrew. How's it going, bud? Menus. Awesome. Thank you very much. And uh, they are making sure that we have our menus for today. If you guys have any questions at all or any so. recommendations, let me know. Will do. Thank you. Cookies and cream cookies. Cookies and cream cookies. So um, you guys probably saw that uh, I posted something on Instagram and Facebook this morning of the wait time that was showing as far as just being in the virtual queue. What we're looking at now is just the beginning. This is the space you come back when they send you the text. Um, that was a very long line. It took us about 45 minutes to get through it. And uh, this is just a short line to get into the store. So I thought, well, let's see how long it takes us to get through. You guys might want to come along. So, hey, Jen, good to see you. Megan, good evening. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, we're going to take you live into uh, the bake house. You can see it for yourselves. We're going to order some cookies. We might even order a piece of cake. Who knows? Nancy says it's the best cookies ever. I'm going to get all of the cookies. I, I, I've tried them. They're really good. They're good cookies. cookies and cream ones. So do you guys know what you want? So Anthony loved to fast forward to the video this morning. That is awesome. Adam, Adam, Nancy is our biggest fan. We're Nancy's biggest fans too. We, we love running into Nancy when we're in the parks. So, hey guys, how's it going? Doing good. Let me flip this over here. We are going live. Did you guys get in today? No, Not today. Are you guys gonna come back and try to get in sometime later? Yeah, the virtual line closed just a few minutes after we finally got into it. But it's so uh, we got here about nine, nine, between nine, ten and nine, fifteen. So by ten thirty, they were done. They had closed the line down. So now we uh, we uh, we posted a uh, fast forward video this morning of how long the line was for the virtual queue. People were freaking out going, there's no way in the world I would wait 12 hours for a cookie. So, but here's the thing, it was a virtual queue. So after we got into the virtual, we went shopping. We did all of our stuff and then we went home. We hung out, we had dinner. So yeah, it wasn't waiting too, too bad. So it's really good. Next time you guys come through here, let us know. We'd love to hear what you guys think of it. So, so hey, give a, give a shout out, give a shout out. Tell them who you guys are. So you guys, you guys were, you guys were on our stream uh, last night in the chat. So if you guys saw Magtastic, these are the guys. Good to run into you guys again. Have a great time. We're gonna try as much as. Well, I don't think it's gonna be very hard to enjoy these cookies. So, uh, like I said, this is sort of a live, uh, uh, a quick live stream. This is uh, all the kiddos are with me tonight because I told them that I would bring them back for some cookies. And you guys have the little menus. Who's gonna? Who wants to tell us what the best cookies are? Uh, cookies and cream. Well, you always are loving the cookies and cream. <laughs> Chocolate chip, the original. They do have blue sky soda inside. I know you're a big fan of that. So um, they have not, I don't know what they have still available. Normally they have five cookies available and then they have two limited editions. Today, today they have five limited editions available. And this is the only time they've ever done that to have 10 available flavors. I don't know what's gonna be available inside. I don't know. We'll have two, to wait and see. The two of the ones listed are in there, right? What's that? The two of the ones listed are already in there, right? They should be, I believe so. Where's one of these cookies? So cookies we got like, Blue Sky Gang. Yep. We're having Wi-Fi. We've got some uh, we've got some Wi-Fi here uh, issues. We'll have some connectivity here and there with some Blue Sky Wi-Fi. Um, just over here. Yeah, we. So we are right across the way from Raglan Road. 
So we may get some music here as well. Who knows? Um, so we said that we were going to have a, uh, we, we were told it was going to be a five hour wait uh, before we get our call back. Let me show you Raglan. Uh, five hour call back. Um, we were actually at about eight hours, unfortunately. Um, they tell you to be back within 30 minutes, but unfortunately we had to get back in through security. That took a lot longer than we expected it to be. So Megan says, I would have done the virtual queue, gone to parks and then came back. Yeah, depending on when your return time is. But here's the thing. This is, this is not going to be normal today, guys. Today's the grand opening. Um, they have the first 1,000 transactions, which I, I, I don't feel as though we're going to make it. I think it's just way, way past that. But the first 1,000 transactions, we're getting a uh, autograph lithograph, autograph lithograph um, from the artist. And uh, the first 250 got free peanut butter dip as well. Um, they're going to have uh, a few other things. Of course, the limited edition cookies are available. So today was kind of a special thing. It's a big deal, right? Goblin of Fire is one of the best movies. Oh, well, hang on. I'm playing around with this thing. This little whoop is all over the place. I know. I am ah! with you. Ah! I keep moving. I keep moving it. <laughs> it's backwards. Everything is backwards. When I want it to go down, it goes up. So, um, Goblet of Fire, you, Megan's making her way through all the Harry Potter movies. Because uh, Megan's going to be coming to Universal in about three weeks. So, we're so excited that we can bring her and help her. We can help her plan her Universal trip. That and that is available right now. Yeah, from seven to nine. So seven to nine. Can you? So, did you hear that? They're having warm cookies right now with a with ice cream on top of it. Ooh. Like choose your own cookie for like price. No, I think you get to choose which cookie you want, and they'll put ice cream on it. Yeah. That's only available. It's the hot cookie hour. Normally, it's only one hour each night, but I think it's from seven to nine tonight. I'm totally getting that then. Megan's like, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, we don't sell all of that one. Yes! We just don't have the Frankenstein. Oh, the Frankenstein is gone? Frankenstein is gone. Okay, is that the only one that's unavailable? Perfect, well, awesome. Get coffee toffee then. Get the coffee toffee. What's that? Coffee toffee, ice cream. So three others Perfect. Happy. All right, so let me let me see this menu. I can't really see because my glasses are so fogged up the, tonight. The special editions that are listed are coffee toffee and chocolate chip. So coffee, toffee, chocolate chip, then the coffee cake cookie, which is normally only served in the morning. Um, Adam wants to know uh, which cookie I'm getting. Uh, I think um, the peanut butter crunch sounds pretty good. Um, Liberty's obviously getting the cookies and cream. I don't know. So Adam, I think, uh, let me do a roll call right here with everybody. Let's check. I want to check. Liberty, where you at? Hey, man, let me flip it around back over here. My glasses are fogged up, so I'm losing everything. Um, I want to know, what is? what are you getting? I know, it's not panning, is it? Well, it's, it's acting up a little bit, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. It's panning. There we go. So what are you going to get? You're going to get the cookies and cream? Now, if you get that with the uh, warm cookie and the ice cream, is that what you're going to get? Now you're gonna get just the cookies and cream? All right. What about you, Mr. I'm a drummer all of a sudden? I'm gonna get the coffee toffee. Coffee toffee? Okay, Fiorella, good evening, welcome. What about you, bud? The chocolate chip, the original chocolate chip? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming so. If it's a warm cookie hour, you should get any cookie you want with ice cream on top. Now, I'm going to break it up a little bit, guys, because everybody else is getting cookies. Um, I think I want the cake. You get to that cake action. So, they touted the fact that they have original red velvet cake. I'm a huge red velvet fan. Huge red You're velvet have to fan. Give me a small bit of that and they're all going to want to bite i'm sure but i'm a really big red velvet snob because you know i want to make sure it's got the really good buttercream on it but they say that their red velvet is the the stuff the real stuff so while well, these guys are going to be getting cookie probably with ice cream on top who knows i'm going to be getting probably um a large slice of red velvet cake uh that i can share with you guys here on the stream so we're going to go inside we're going to order what we need so how big um, is the store it's very small. 
I was wondering if this is going to be a whole giant alley inside. No, it's a tiny store. It's a really tiny store. So where are we going to get set afterwards? Uh, we'll find a, we'll have to find a table somewhere. Hey, people let's go watching. Over the, let's go to Earl's Sandwich. Go eat there. You're all amazing, and, 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 have a, and I hope you all have an amazing night in yep. case you guys are having a bad day. Well, hopefully we can share a little bit of uh, cookie pixie dust tonight sure. with everybody. <laughs> sure, it does beat a pair of Oreos. Is that what you're you're jumping on right now? So, if you guys did not see our video um, that we uh, that we posted up on our channel before of uh, the opening, the soft opening they had just a few days before Christmas, then uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to take you inside and let you guys see what, exactly what it looks like. Uh, hopefully, when I get inside, my glasses will stop fogging up. So, I'm, yeah, I'm the only one who's actually seen the inside so far. So, um, guys online, let me flip it back around. So, if uh, you were lucky enough, if you were lucky enough today to get a one of the posters, the lithographs that they were offering for the worst first 1,000 uh, transactions, it has the it has the um, the the lithograph has the image has the image of the gargoyle on it. And people were asking, well, what is the name of the gargoyle? Well, I actually put it in our stories earlier today. I probably was a little sneaky, but I figured out what the name was and it's actually in our stories. And according to Steve, the owner of the of the bakery, if you can, you can say his name, he will, um, the gargoyle will help defend you. I don't know if I can pronounce it. I asked Steve this morning, I said, are you going to help us figure out? He goes, no, I can't tell you. If you get close to pronouncing it, I'll help you out, but you got to get close. So I don't know if anybody ever says it, you know, but you should, you should go back to our stories and check it out. It's a, uh, it's a pretty long name. Now the, uh, the artist who actually drew that Mr. Ice, he is uh, on Instagram. He's also going to be at the Epcot festival of the arts. So um, we're going to be seeing him later on this month in January. He's going to have his own booth, his own artwork at the festival. So check in. We are, we are always streaming on a schedule every Monday and every Friday. So we're going to make sure that we uh, we go check in and talk with him and see more of his artwork. And uh, if you guys are wanting to go see the Epcot Festival of the Arts for yourself, you know you can always contact Susan and myself. We're glad to help you guys as planning your, your next trip here to Walt Disney World as well. And we're always glad to give you a quote for that. And as Travel Mation travel agents, there are never no, never any fees for our services. Be glad to help you plan that trip and check out many of the artists that are going to be here. So, show the people the window. what's that? The window with the really cool decoration. All right, let me see if I can put that around here. So, the uh, talking with Steve, this uh, he said that he spent about a year, about a year. Uh, traveling around and buying artifacts, books, and antiquities that will be in this location. So these are just not random stuff, guys. This is stuff that the owner himself, Steve, has purchased, found, and brought hand. back. What's that? Look at the hand. There's a hand. Yeah. There's a hand right there. Cool. There's all kinds of uh, cool stuff, and there's cookies in there as well. Oh man, I wonder how hard it was to find those cookies. What's that? Yeah, it's a very dark. It's not a very bright and happy, shiny uh, place inside. It's actually um, very mysterious. I like, I like foreboding. I like, I like yeah, she's really happy about it. She's She's been wanting to see the inside of this for a while. Well, do me a favor, guys. If you guys are enjoying the live streams anytime, we would greatly appreciate it if you guys would give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and that would always help us out. Thank you guys so much. So, hey, good to see you, Brian and Amanda. How are you guys doing tonight? That they left the book open? Is there a problem with that? Open face down. Yeah. It's like it was just kind of left there in a hurry, right? Maybe someone was reading it and something happened. They had to put the book down. <laughs> so um brian and amanda are on guys yeah we have we have to do uh we want to do something you guys uh remember when we did the uh, mini golf with chris um you know 
Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom is expiring and being discontinued as of the 24th of this month. We're going to have to meet up with them and, and go play around round of uh, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, aren't we? We could use our entire deck. It's been like quarantine forever. Oh, you know what? We've got, I've got an entire stack. I've got an entire stack of cards that we got from the Not So Scary Halloween Party in 2019. Well, I was thinking as we walked around and played, anybody we encountered that day, we should probably just give them away one of our cards. That would be fun, wouldn't you think? What's that? No, we're going to give all of our cards away, right? No, all of the extra cards we have from the Not So Scary Halloween Party. All 17 of them that I have that you've never seen in the light of day. <laughs> we'll have to uh, we'll have to set up a live stream and maybe do it, but one way or the other, we're gonna have to go back and play. All right, so guys, we're probably about six parties back. We're not too too far still ahead. Thanks for joining in. We are live from Disney Springs, about to go inside of Gideon's Bakehouse to get our cookies and our slice of red velvet cake. If you guys are wondering where Susan is, Susan is at home working hard, doing some stuff for some of our travel clients. And we are always making sure that our travel clients get first priority. So kudos out there to Susan, still making the travel mission magic happen. And besides, it's kind of mean for her to come inside, see and smell all the wonderful cookies that she cannot have. Uh, unfortunately, there are no gluten-free uh, options that I know of in this bakery, so. Yeah, Megan, it's uh, it's kind of torture in a way to, to be mean that way. Make her come in and look at all the stuff she can't eat. Yeah, that'd be kind of rough. Oh, we're moving another step up. Oh, can you smell them, guys? I can smell it. Can you smell it? Oh, we're moving up again. Oh, not that song. <laughs> So, just so you guys, if you don't know what Gideon's Bakehouse is, um, this bakery actually started on the Western Market in, in, in near downtown Orlando. And uh, Steve, Steve created that special recipe. He spent about 15 years uh, making it and perfecting it. And it's not something you can just make. I think it requires a lot of a lot of uh, overtime, of curing, and making stuff like that happen. Each of the cookies are very large. They're about half pound each. And uh, they're cakes. Their cakes are huge, large cake slices. And most of them are double frosted. Just like pick me up some cake for next week. So here's the good thing, Jen. I, you know, Today's really kind of rough. I expect that it's always going to be kind of hard to get in virtual queues and stuff, but I don't expect it to be as bad as it was today every day. They had special lithographs, they had special offerings for the first 250 people in. They have, you know, brand new merchandise. And, uh, and that was just kind of the hype of being in there for the grand opening. So hopefully when you guys come for future trips, it's you still want to opening. I only waited 80 minutes. That was the brand new first day of. So, and that was during the holidays too. Uh, it's gonna get it's gonna get better. So don't freak out just because of the grand opening. So, you guys have any questions at all? All good. So on the warm cookies and ice cream, can they choose any cookie for that? It's just our chocolate chip. Just the chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have a chocolate peanut butter brownie one. Really good, uh, and then we have like a malted vanilla. Malted vanilla and a chocolate brownie yeah, for the ice cream. And they're all only on the original chocolate chip. Yeah. And, uh, One more party. It's Kelly's homemade. Kelly's homemade. Well, it's a good thing I was Kelly's out. homemade. Yeah, it's Kelly's homemade. Okay, got it. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's a good thing I was planning on getting out there. All right, you guys ready? We're we're about we're almost here. Almost here. All right, where well, the next one's ends, guys. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, 
Cake, 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 cake. I don't want Angie's gonna take a chocolate chip with ice cream. People are still walking out with posters, Liberty. Are we coming in? Okay. Oh, pardon me. All right. That was Steve, the owner, right there. Welcome. Thank you very much. Are you ready to go on in? Go on in. Oh, my gosh, the smell. Oh, man, the smell. So let me let you show the menu real quick, guys. The cookies are $6 each for the cookies. They're like a half pound each. Cake slices are $9. We're gonna see them, they're pretty huge. And then of course the drinks, they also have, of course, sodas and the things like that. They do have milk. Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. And they also have the brew house, peanut butter iced coffee, ginger snap cold brew, and classic white cold brew also available so what do you think liberty you like it it's like a library effect isn't it the books and like i said he 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 picked out every one of these books himself oh she's loving this andrew here's our gar gargoyle friend He's adorable. That's a t-shirt. You think you like one of those t-shirts? Yes. Candles. I wonder if we burn if we burn one of these candles, will it, will it smell like this in our house? If it will, then yes. It'll probably <laughs> smell like your door. All right, so our products, notice here on the sign, our products do contain eggs, dairy, gluten, wheat, and nuts, and are prepared in a kitchen where all of these items are here. So. Please be aware of this when it comes to allergies and the like like that. I want to make sure I'm staying in my distant space. The dark arts. It probably just smells like the dark cookies. It doesn't even light up in a flame of light. It's a flame of darkness. It's up all light in the area. Probably, uh, probably will uh, bring about the, the return of the Sanderson sisters. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right. So what do you guys think? You guys in the chat. What do you think of the atmosphere? Have you ever seen a bakery? Have you ever seen a bakery like this before? What's that? All right. Now, the artwork was all done by the same artist, and hopefully, like I said, we're gonna see him at the at the Festival of the Arts later this month. Oh, see the cakes? Whoa, that is red velvet. Oh no, I don't see any red velvet. No, is there no red velvet? Oh man, my red velvet dreams may be dashed, guys. So Nancy, um, it goes by the name of Mr. Eyes is on the Instagram. So if you look up, search on Instagram, Mr. Eyes, um, I'll have to look and see. Yeah. <laughs> like, where's the red velvet? Or is that, oh, wait, wait, is that the red velvet? I think that might be the red velvet. Like, there it is. I was beginning to get a little worried. There it is. Okay, I'm feeling better now. I guess by Mr. Eyes on Instagram. Ah. And you like, I want the chocolate cake. Chris, Chris is great. He buys Andrew chocolate cake. Okay. Double frosted. They have double frosted cakes. That means they they frost them, they chill them, and then they put an extra layer of frosting on. Look at that top hat and the dried flowers. The dried flowers look so 
The dried flowers? Yeah, dried flowers. Oh, I love the top hat over there. Hey, Taylor. How's it going? Yeah. Another fact that I would like to point out here, if you look at on the bookshelves, they don't just go shrimp and stuff, they all occur. No, look at the bookshelves at the top. They're all kind of like wonky. Wonky. All right. Up over there. Hang on. Come on, guys. Go on there. All right. Whoa, key lime pie. There's the two red velvet. Some of the others. Mm. All right, where are we going? Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to get them to be able to see as many cookies as possible. So um, now, first question is: This little woman right here was dying to get one of the posters. Do you guys still have any of those left? Awesome. And do you guys have sizes for t-shirts that might fit her? How much are the t-shirts? Twenty-five. Okay, would you like to have a t-shirt? Are you sure? Wait, well, hang on. Well, what's, I, I don't know if we want that. What's the gargoyle's name? <laughs> we, we don't yet. We're working on it though. We're working on it. It's actually what? Oh, that's awesome. You need, you need, a, you need one of those, right? Is it crack? It's acrylic? What? Is it even a different language? No. All right, so we're going to need a t-shirt for her. I don't know what size you would recommend. Probably a small. Okay. She wanted to use her own card to buy her own cookie. Is that okay if she does? She has one left over from a previous Disney trip, so she wanted to use. She wanted to buy her own cookie for today. Okay, I will get. I will. I will get your T-shirt if you want to buy your own cookie. Okay. Okay, because I know you don't have enough for both. All right. So, um, do do this. Can we let her buy hers first? Thank you. So go ahead and tell her what you want. The rat with the hat. Well, she's been talking about wanting to use her rat card all day today. And she's like, can I use my rat card? And we're like, if they take it, we'll let you use your rat card. Yes. The wall came down here recently, so we're excited about that. Yeah, they replaced it with shrubs. They've actually got the infrastructure now. Like, yeah, stay where you're We came here this morning, and then we got home. Yeah. And then I came there. I just, came, I just joined them after they went home. So that is good to go, guys, if you have Disney gift cards. We've got you on YouTube, by the way. You're live on our YouTube channel. So we wanted to share it with everybody. So if you do have Disney gift cards, guys, bring them and buy your cookies with your gift cards. All right. Okay. All right. Can we go ahead and start on the next order? Okay, Kayla, what would you like? I would like the coffee toffee cookie. Okay. Coffee toffee. All right. Okay. Owen, what you gonna get? Can I get the original chocolate chip? Are they still doing the ice cream? Do you want the ice cream one? All right. So we're gonna get a warm cookie with the ice cream on that one. Just a question, because this, this is obviously important when you're dealing with temperature. Where does where does the food come from? What? It's right here. So all our cookies are made at a warehouse in Winter Garden. And they are made fresh here in the basket. Wow. Where, where, where did we get our food? No, she's gonna give it to you right now. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, you go outside and it magically appears in your backpack. Okay. No, she's gonna hand it to you, don't worry. All right, um, and then uh, for myself, if I can get a slice of what you guys call an original red velvet. Is it true red velvet? I'm a, I am a red velvet snob, I'm telling you. So I'm really excited about this, so. Oh, so definitely give me a slice of that. And then to, uh, to wrap it up, let's make sure we get her a, uh, a t-shirt, a small t-shirt for her as well. 
Uh, what style of options do we have? Hey, 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 I'm, I'm ordering your shirt. You should listen to your options. What do you... There's a cat one. Most definitely, okay. All right. Yes. That would be it. All right. Can you hold this for me real quick? Okay. Sure. Keep it right there. They also have face masks, it looks like here. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this. I can get it to go down. Look at the face mask. Hold on to it though, because it looks like it might fly away. I'm not 100% sure. So, so Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go with... Now, if we ever come back and get a candle, if we burn it, will it smell like this in our house? All right. I say if, if you could if you could if you could bottle the smell of the bakery, oh that would be Oh my goodness. Alright, can you hold that there's Owens. Oh look at that. With the ice cream on top. Warm cookie with ice cream on it. It's getting even Alright, can you hold this for me, bud? Got it? Alright. Yeah, it really does look so good. Awesome, thank you wanted to get today. We wanted to put everyone in the bathroom. We are, we actually live uh, different kind of American. We moved here twice just so we can share experiences like this. But all of our friends and family over here uh, on our YouTube. So. A what? A jewelry? Oh, okay. It's just so dramatic. All right. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, this just says, come get cookies, right? So thank you guys so very much. We appreciate it. All right, guys, let's head on out. We'll see you guys next time. All right, one last look here we, as we walk out of Gideon's. Thank you. Uh, you, okay, you, you should. have another idea? Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we have anything to eat it with. I've got, I don't know if we have anything to eat with, guys. I should have checked, I should have asked. So this is the inside of the bakery. Window outside this side. Some of the other cookies. Of course, the giant cookies inside as well. So welcome to the live stream, guys. We came over here. We thought, why not share the experience with you guys? Check to see if we have anything to eat with in there. Well, you can eat a cookie. I have a cake. I, yeah, you can go ahead. You've got something to eat it with. Especially while it's still warm, right? You can eat your cookie. That's fine. Here's Liberty's t-shirt, since she was really excited. I don't feel any forks inside the bag. That's Liberty's shirt. 
Hello, AJC Magic TV. Good to have you. Are you checking to see? Yep. I got a fork in there for my cake slice. Okay, cool. All right, so get your cookie. We're going to do a live view with everybody here as they have. Liberty got her poster. Excited about that. They double wrap them. They take good care. Now, Liberty's already gotten into her cookies and cream. Now, honest, what do you think? All right, show us that. Show us that cookie. Turn around and show us the cookie. We want to see the top of that cookie inside. Look at that cookie, guys. No, I know. You're fine. Now, do you think that's a pretty good cookie? Is it a decent cookie? Is it an excellent cookie? Would you share it with everybody on the live stream? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, so what did you get? But, uh, hang on, wait a Water Lily Silver Paw says, Hi, Liberty. Liberty got her cookie. Really good cookie, too. All right, what you got? What you got? Coffee, toffee. Are you old enough to drink coffee? Okay. Am <laughs> I? No. No. Now, what is right, the? Is it worth the whole weight? Yeah. They wait at home most of the day. I think it's probably yeah, the okay. Yeah, guy said there was an eleven-hour wait because it's their first day. Are they that good? Well, and signed up. Yeah. yeah. So we we got here. We waited forty-five minutes to get in the queue, and then about twenty minutes after we got in the queue, they cut it off. I'm going to McDonald's getting an apple pie. There you go. Hey, hey, come back a day when it's not grand open and get one. They're good. He yeah. jumped in the line at the end, and I'm like, this is a <laughs> The dude comes up, he's like, do you have a queue? I'm like, a queue for Yeah, what? these guys got here at 9 o'clock he this morning. Out, it's 11 hour wait. Yeah. Enjoy your cookies. These are good cookies, though. Come back and try them again next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to ask Owen, how is the ice cream with the cookie? Really good. It's a really good You got the chocolate chip cookie. The only cookie you can get with the cookies and the ice cream is the chocolate chip original. And you can choose between a vanilla or a, a brownie chocolate. And I want to get in there. Here. Here, get, I'm gonna, here go. I got to get my shadows out of here so you guys can see it. That is what he's looking at. A big old bowl. And that's a big old cookie in there. Now, you, did, you haven't had the original chocolate chip because I didn't get that on soft opening. The chocolate chip is really good. It has, like... The density. It's a dense cookie. It is a dense cookie. No, it feels like cookie dough. Yeah, feels like unbaked cookie dough, but it's cooked. Well, I'm trying to trying to be good here. Let me do this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Coffee topping. I like that one. Ever so slightly get that saltiness to it as well, which is very important. What's that? I, I don't have to have yours. You can have it. All right, so here's the real test. You get this over here. Be careful. It's got your poster and your T-shirt in it. So you guard it, okay? You have to guard. You have to be the guardian of the gargoyle. It's my bag now. Yes, it's your bag now. Or I get to have the shirt. All right, this is my table. Those of you who come to Disney a lot like us, you know that you eat off all kinds of surfaces. At Epcot, especially during the food festivals, it's not uncommon that you eat on top of trash cans, AKA Epcot tables. So this is nothing that big of a deal. Um, we are sort of social distance, so I'm gonna remove my mask just for the sake of eating off to the side. I'm gonna reveal this here. Oh, it's wrapped again. Ooh, look at 
looks <laughs> bloody red. It's double wrapped. Oh my gosh. Blood red. Oh my goodness, guys. Blood red. <laughs> Alright, so hang on just a second. Yeah, no napkins. Yeah. Napkin issue. Alright, and give me one second, guys. I'm gonna pop in here for charging. Alright, hopefully that worked out. So how's the sound where tonight, guys? We don't. How's the sound tonight? We have a brand new mic that we're using for our setup here. Um, hopefully you guys can hear us all well. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys on that. I'd like to give a great shout out to our patrons over on our Patreon account who have donated and supported our channel. And we've used that money to upgrade a little bit of our equipment. So we have a brand new microphone. So you guys hopefully can hear us a lot better on really the live stream. So hopefully that's worked out well. So quick shout out to some of our patrons out there. Uh, Andrew, Megan, Jen, thank you guys for being patrons and, uh, and a part of our magic crew. If you guys are interested in joining and supporting us here at Eerie Magic at any point, you can check out our Patreon page at, at patreon.com forward slash ear to ear magic. Love to have you guys a part of the magic crew. Some special stuff here and there as well. So I got to get into this cake. I'm not going to eat this whole thing. I'm not. I'm going to take it home and I'm going to get into a corner somewhere of the house where the kids can't find me. And I'm I will, eat mine in my I, will I will just devour this. I probably won't even use a fork if it's that good. Forks aren't needed. The true, true cake lovers use their hands. All right. Capture your primal instincts. Yes. Reject humanity. Become monkey. Oh. Man, that's some serious cake. Are you trying to make us jealous? That is some serious cake. Oh, man. I hear a happy birthday in the distance. This is normally what I get for my birthday cake every year. It is. And now we have a Red new Valley. place to get it. Yeah. It is what he gets. Here it comes, guys. He's going to judge. Tell us. Oh, a frosting. It's not overly sweet. You know, sometimes you get like the sugar in your mouth. Birthday. If you need someone to sing happy birthday, I'll be here just just, just get my dad to Bring me over. I'll sing happy birthday for you. Somebody's on birthday today? Hi, here for a moment. Dad is eating red velvet cake. And true I got red the velvet cookies cake. and cream. That's Sorry, true, true red velvet cake. True red velvet cake. This My is an awesome is cake, guys. My name's True. True red velvet cake. I'm not, I'm not regretting not getting a cookie. And it is heavy, heavy, heavy cake. So... The frosting, I, I'm a little, little taken aback by the frosting because I was expecting it to be as like really, really overly sweet like they do um, when you get cream cheese frosting at certain places, but it's not overly sweet. But it's silky smooth. It's, I, I wish I could kind of give you an idea of just how much frosting you get in between the layers. That's what's in between the layers. That's all frosting. Good, good stuff. I mean, I don't even get that much frosting edge on the outside of a cake sometimes. And I think that's more than on the edge. I know, right, yeah. Jen? The frosty yeah. makes it a thousand times better. That is delicious though. But it's unlike it's unlike what you get when you go to like certain other bakeries or Yes. I li I'd like some cake with my frosting. Yeah, a little bit of cake with my frosting would be good. Yep. I like how I chose a warm cookie in order to be in the cold and I'm very happy with this cake. I got stuff, so I'm giving the rest of the tail. Me really? too, Debbie. Me too. Sure. I don't think it was we a cookie. We can suffer together as we watch my father eat red velvet cake. But then again, it wasn't the cookie. It was just for the cookie and stuff. So, I am going to save the rest of that for later. It is delicious. Everything here is really good. Maybe when I'm not like down on my haunches. Outside, but 
I did the same thing with the cookies the last time I got them for the soft opening. I took a bite, took it home for the kids, and everybody had a bite as well. Bite? I'm good. I will. Let me pop this in here. I'll, I'll try a bite. I think I think I may try to go and find some napkins. I will, Caleb. Or we can just go to the restroom and wash your hands. Oh. What about our face? You, know, they, you can put water in your face, too. I, I can't too. even probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys. Wait, how come Dad gets a bite napkin? So guys, um, let me let me jump back up here since I got my mask. You should stand. Hey guys, hang on, just stay here for a second. I'm gonna be right back, okay? All right. Whew, this was a last minute surprise live stream, but I thought, you know what? You guys might appreciate it. You might enjoy actually being here and kind of getting an idea. If you've never been inside, you know, might enjoy seeing the inside. But we are here, over here at Gideon's Bakehouse on grand opening day. And it was very busy today. You see the gargoyle is up there overlooking all the things that are going on here at Disney Springs today. It's really busy here tonight, surprisingly, at Disney Springs. Um, it took us about 20 minutes just to get inside of security. So, I'm gonna step back out here in front, just so you guys can see, they closed the line early for the virtual queue. And I, I'm wondering whether or not they're gonna make it through the entire line tonight or not because they told us that we were going to be in at about five hours and it took us eight hours to be called so um they're going to be, probably be working here all the way until um when they get ready to close tonight for the most part flip this back over this way give me a little bit of a Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Liberty. They wanted to thank you for donating the rest of your gift card because you left it inside the store. Put it in your pocket. They brought it out and they found you. That was extremely nice of them to do that. All right. So again, guys, thank you so much. We're kind of popping in. Like I said, it's not normally our normal scheduled live streams. If you guys are watching this for the first time, you're like, who are these guys that are going to be eating cookies for the rest of their channel? Um, we do have fun here from Walt Disney World and other Central uh, Florida locations. Uh, we do have a live stream scheduled every Monday and every Friday. We'd love to have you guys join us on future live streams. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you know when we're going to be going live in the future. We would love to have you guys join us on future streams. Matter of fact, this future Monday, well, Martin Luther King Day, uh, it's going to be a holiday. Hopefully some of the kids will be joining us. We're going to be spending the uh, morning over at Disney's Animal Kingdom and having some fun looking at the animals and enjoying uh, as much as we can see. Check it out with all the baby animals if you can. So we would be glad to have you guys join us. If you want to have some fun from the parks, please jump into a live stream. The only thing that we ask is don't just watch. We want you to sign up for an, a, a YouTube account if you don't already have one. Join the chat because these guys are awesome in the chat and uh, they really make the community just beautiful and be great to be a part of. So come join us in a live chat come Monday uh, at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. And anytime something else weird like this happens, we might just go live as well. 